Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you how you can get extra free money in Grand Theft Auto Online literally in under 60 seconds. We'll be talking about all the discounts, bonuses, sales, and a whole lot more that are going on, including the final week of the Sprunk and E. Cola showdown. So this is what Rockstar talks about first. They said, when the sun goes down, revenue goes up. For the socialites, promoters, and landed gentry who own nightclubs at least, daily income takes from clubs are doubled this week, so make regular visits to your safe before it reaches capacity. And nightclub warehouse sell missions are also rewarding owners with a $250,000 bonus for completing one sell mission, and another $250,000 bonus for completing three total plus all associated nightclub utility fees are being waived through September 14th, which is the length of this event. So let's recap here. Your nightclub safe is gonna fill up twice as fast. It's not gonna have double the capacity, but it is going to fill up twice as fast, so you need to check back more often. If you do one sell mission, you're gonna get a quarter of a million dollars, and then if you do two more to get yourself to a total of three, you're gonna get $500,000 in total for free. So that's really cool. It's also not the only free money opportunity that Rockstar have got going on this week. And technically it's not like free money, but I'm going to call it like 99% free money because it's the HSW time trial. So this one takes us from East Vinewood to Vespucci Beach. It's so easy. And the big thing with this is that it's double money in RP. So you normally get $251,000 now you're going to get $502,000 for completing it. And I am one of the worst drivers in GTA Online, and I am able to do this so easily. Just pick any one of your HSW vehicles. I really like the Hakachu Drag. And you can see here, I literally finished this time trial with about 20, 25 seconds to spare. That's how easy this whole thing was, and I wasn't even really doing it the best I really possibly could. So as you can see there, you get basically $500,000 for free by doing the HSW time trial, and then you can get $500,000 for free by doing the nightclub business stuff. You've got a million dollars essentially in free cash right then and there. It doesn't get any easier than that. Now, after that, Rockstar gives us an update on the Sprunk versus E. Cola event and showdown. Rockstar says, as E. Cola makes a final push to be crowned sovereign of the sodas by tempting voters with a town takeover, E. Cola brand ambassadors can telegraph their allegiance by claiming a pair of red glow shades free of charge upon logging into GTA Online this week. And you can also place your vote for your favorite soda before this week is out by joining either one of the official crews, by claiming a bodysuit from the in-game store, and consuming as many beverages as humanly possible. And remember that next week, the winning brand's merch will become freely available to all comers, including the themed varsity jacket cap and parachute bag. So it looks like Rockstar is definitely highlighting the E. Cola side of things for this event week, and that is definitely shown off at the car dealerships at Simeon's Premium Deluxe Motorsport. You can see that there's five E. Cola-inspired cars, including the Red Gallivanter Baller, previously unavailable for purchase from in-game websites, the Kness Seminole Frontier in a metallic garnet red paint job with the old wood livery, a Dinka Sugoi painted metallic red and bedecked in the wave livery, a classic blaze red Dinka Blista Kanjo wrapped in the shopping list livery, and a pearlescent Torino red de classic tulip equipped with the bad livery. So that's at Simeon Showroom. Then at Luxury Auto Showroom, you have the BR8, and you have the Nero, both are gonna be equipped in colors of E. Cola. And it doesn't stop there because over at the Diamond Casino in Resort, you can see on the podium is the Obey 8F Drafter in a nice red color. So you can spin that once a day until September 14th to see if you can win the nice new car. The prize ride is also E. Cola themed. It is the Pegasi Osiris. Essentially, what you have to do here is win a car meet race for three days in a row. That's not too bad. And then the three test ride vehicles are the Volcar Warner HKR, the Progen GP1, and the Declasse Drift Tampa. Again, all in bright red, shiny colors. So it's definitely an E. Cola themed this week 
here in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, there's also a handful more ways to make money as well. If you guys are interested, other than the free money opportunities, the first is two times money in RP and goods in business battles. Rockstar says private enterprise is the ultimate battleground, an eternal back and forth of supply versus demand, corporation versus corporation, worker against worker, wage war by taking part in business battles, and you'll earn two times money in RP and goods for those involved. You've also got two times money in RP on Sumo all week long, so this new adversary mode is back. And as a part of the ongoing Sprunk and E. Cola event, you get three times money in RP in the Southern San Andreas Super Sports Series. So that is still going on. Now, after that, there's a handful of discounts that are happening as well, including all Sprunk and E. Cola liveries still remain free. You can get free champagne at the nightclub, which is kind of cool. And then there's a handful of other discounts as well, including nightclub properties, which is 40% off, nightclub equipment upgrades, which are 60% off, and then security upgrades and staff upgrades are 50% off as well. And then we have the following vehicles that are on discount. These are all 40% off, including the Impante Arbiter GT, which happens to be the HSW test ride car that you can see in the Los Santos car meet, the Ocelot Swinger, the Coil Brawler, the Buckingham Alpha Z1, the Atomic Blimp to Class A Tulip, and the Volcar Warner HKR. And then these are 30% off the Progen GP1, the Nagasaki Havoc, and the B11 Strike Force. So those are your discounts, bonuses, and sales. Prime Gaming members can get $125,000 just for playing anytime this week. And then, of course, you have the GTA Plus event that is going on through September 28th. Now, in case you guys have been asking yourself throughout this video, what the heck, is there no new car? The answer to that is yes, there is not a new vehicle this week. And Insider Tez Funds 2 looks to have explained why Rockstar might have actually skipped this entire thing. So he ended up saying this, well, the next variable in line after the Vajero ZX was released is associated with a vehicle cut from the update. I actually thought this was an exclusive hidden vehicle within the PS5 and Xbox Series X files, but it wasn't even enabled on the PS5 Xbox tunables, making me believe that this is truly cut content. That's the only reason I could think of as to why we didn't receive a new car today. With a little bit more follow-up as well, because someone said, I assume that if this is unintentional, Rockstar will fix it sometime tonight so they have something to show for themselves come the newswire. Otherwise, they'll just pretend like nobody knows about all the drip feed cars and ignore the situation completely. And he said, event weeks are planned two weeks in advance. I doubt that this is a typo from their side but was more done intentionally. So I guess because Rockstar at the last minute decided, oh shoot, we gotta cut this vehicle for whatever reason. And so I guess Rockstar would think to themselves, we're gonna have an extra car for the drip feed weeks, but when they decided to cut it, now we kind of have this gap. So I guess this is what Rockstar is doing. Luckily, they loaded this event week up with a lot of fun stuff to do. We only have a handful more cars from the drip feed of the Criminal Enterprises update, but that explains why there is not a new vehicle released this week, in case you guys were wondering. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think of the current event week? Is it a good one, a bad one? Somewhere in between, let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.